Okay, guys, welcome to my Minecraft tutorial. My name is L My Llama is better than you, MLBU, Llama, whatever. Uh, this is a tutorial for how to survive your first night kind of thing, and it's basically there we go. I wasn't getting a sound, sorry. And it's basically to show you guys, uh, for everybody that doesn't know, how to survive the very first time you go onto Minecraft. Uh, and like, you're just sitting there clueless. I know I was, at least. And so, you know, just to help people out, I decided to start making these videos. And so I'll probably do future Let's Plays on adventure maps and stuff. But... For now, I'll do these tutorials. Uh, the less plays might be coming actually pretty soon, so look out for those guys. So, this is my Minecraft tutorial again. And the first thing I wanted to tell you guys, look at the sun. If you look closely, it's kind of moving, watch. See, look at my cursor. See? It's moving pretty fast, actually. So, let's get on with it. Uh, when the sun goes to its highest point, then it'll drop down on this side, and the moon will start coming up. So, when the moon comes up, it turns dark, and in darkness, monsters spawn. Monsters like zombies, uh, uh, zombies, skeletons, creepers, spiders, those are the most common mobs. There are also slimes, witches, things like that, but those you can only find them in certain places. So, yeah, you want to go inside, find a shelter, probably a hole in the ground, as they call it, a hidey hole. Uh, and, yeah, yeah, you, you're going to want shelter. But the first thing that you're going to want is tr a tree. Once you find that tree, you're going to chop down into wood. For now, you're going to punch it. Just hold your mouse over the block like this. Hold it, and then pop. It's going to break, obviously. So now you keep on doing that until the wood is gone. The only of the leaves are there. And the leaves will go away by themselves. They'll degrade automatically. Just so you guys know. And you're going to want at least 10 pieces. If you can do more, great. Really good. Uh, but at least 10 to last you the whole night. Last you a while, so... Yeah, because the first night is the most challenging part, as long, um, at least to my experience it is. So, yeah, let's chop down some wood. There we go. Now I'm gonna, just going to take this last block and go look for shelter. But the first thing that you're going to do is pop one little full wood on block. And get some wood planks, wooden planks right here. And what you're going to do with these, sorry, what you're going to do with these is craft a crafting table like this. Just fill out your regular crafting space. The way you go to this is you hit E, tap E, but they're right there. And you're going to move with the W, A, S, D keys. W for forward, S for backwards, sorry. A for left and D for right. Uh, that's on a computer or on a laptop. You might want to change those. Uh, so what you're going to do now. Oh, let me just grab these saplings. You're going to place the crafting table like this, like so with right by right clicking the ground. Now if you right click the crafting table you're going to pop up your inventory. And you're also going to see this large crafting space. So what you're going to do now. What I recommend doing is just turning all these to planks. So planks is what you use to build stuff. Making some sticks like this. Just two wood planks on top of each other. So not really like this. You'll get a pressure plate. You don't want those right now. So not like this. Like this. And it could be anywhere on the place. So you could do it here. Or here. Or even here. Like that. And so what you're going to do is you're going to make some sticks. If you want to make them all, you're going to do this. You could just tap it and get it slowly. But if you want to get them all at the same time, just hold shift and click. See? It automatically goes to it. In case you guys didn't know. And so, 
now what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a pickaxe and what you're gonna do is put two sticks like this and make a straight line like this with wooden planks and there you have a pickaxe uh, and so what you're gonna do with this pickaxe is you're gonna mine cobble now let's go to a certain place actually no we should take our crafting table with us that's a good idea oh see uh, when leaves degrade automatically by themselves see how I told you guys that it would degrade see you can break them but they degrade automatically and when they do degrade like that you can get you can possibly get an apple not really rare kinda like a moderate chance that you would get it anyways so yeah let's go uh... you're gonna need to find shelter after you have uh wood so we're gonna make something called a hidey hole I'm not sure who came up with that term uh, first time I heard it was a guy also on YouTube uh, his YouTube channel is Paul Source Jr. I'll put a link in the description to his channel it's a really good channel I think you guys should check it out mm, so here we go see with the pickaxe you're gonna do exactly what you did with the wood but you can't do it you can't do it with your hand watch takes a long time and watch you won't get it look see you don't pick up anything has to be with a pickaxe this is the same with all hard minecraft blocks including cobblestone and stuff with the wood you'll get it but not with smooth stone this is smooth stone when you mine it it turns into cobblestone you can get the smooth stone back by baking cobblestone actually so what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a little hole in the ground like so uh... block it off for now kinda let some light in but block it off for now cause once night turns uh... monsters are gonna get in make you die and stuff yeah not fun well you know sometimes it is fun not not the dying part but the fighting part I mean that's a huge part of minecraft but you guys know what I mean anyways you're gonna just mine out you need this cobblestone cause it's a huge part of your tools and all your stuff plus it's probably what you would be making your house out of unless you're like really really creative so what I'm gonna do right now since I'm gonna be here for a while I'm gonna make a little furnace right here well actually it's not little it's normal size but you guys know what I mean right anyways so I'm gonna make a furnace because this is very necessary we don't need it right now but always make one because that's how you bake food you, when you kill an animal you get raw meat when you kill a cow chicken and a pig either one of those you're gonna get raw meat and what you do with that raw meat is you pop it right here you put some fuel in like wood coal oak saplings coal is the best fuel uh, and what you're gonna do is it'll bake this arrow will start lining up and when it gets fully white it will turn white and when it's completely white it will pop right here a cooked piece of meat and the fire lines are what demonstrates the amount of fuel that you have but I'll go over that later when I actually have something for, to bake for now you're just gonna wanna mine out a lot of cobble because it's essential to your tools and to everything so yeah let's grab a little bit more cobble at least until you have a stack cuz that's kind of like getting you ready for for
for the future, kind of like, in future situations, you don't want to run out of cobble, and, and just like, be missing a tool or something, so yeah, you're gonna want to grab some, and, yeah, after this, you're gonna want to make a full set of tools, and not wooden tools, wooden tools suck, the only tool that you should ever make in Minecraft that's wooden is a pickaxe and on your very first night. But once you have cobble and sticks, make a wooden pickaxe. Just like, I mean, a stone pickaxe. Put it right here. And you should have a certain order that you line them up. Don't just have them randomly on your hotbar. Have them... Um... So we're going to make a sword because you're going to need to fight those monsters out there. Eventually, at least. And they have necessary materials that you need to survive. So yeah, eventually you're going to have to fight one. So you're going to make a sword, just like this. A stick and any kind of material. So either wood, cobblestone, iron, preferably iron. Iron's the best kind. Hold on guys, I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, life gets in the way sometimes, you know. Uh, that was actually a quote. Anyways. So, ah, uh, where were we? Oh, yeah. I was telling you guys about the cobble. Okay. So, after you've gotten a decent amount of cobble, which I still haven't gotten. Yeah, I'll just grab some right now. After you've gotten a decent amount of cobble, you can probably hear the... There you go. Yeah, you can probably hear the sounds of the monsters roaming around in the wild. And this is, uh, the thing is, you're gonna wanna make, like, a full set of tools. So, a sword, because you're gonna have to fight, like I said, eventually. So a sword, and you know how to make that, right? You saw that. Any material, it could be wood, it could be diamonds, it could be iron. Oops, hold on. Uh, now, you're gonna wanna make an axe. Yeah, you're gonna wanna make an axe for trees. It'll help you chop trees down a lot faster. What was that? That. Okay. Yeah, that was a weird sound. That's a zombie sound, but. Yeah, it's sounding different. I don't know. I, I guess it changed the sounds of the zombies. Anyways, now you're going to want to make a shovel. Yeah, they definitely change the sounds. It's different. And this will break dirt faster. I know it already breaks pretty fast, but in case you want to move a large amount of, of like dirt, sand, or gravel, this will help a lot. Like I said, iron, uh, wood, diamonds, and gold. I do not recommend gold. Gold really sucks. It degrades really fast. Plus, the efficiency is not as good as diamonds, so just use diamonds or iron or something. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just waiting here. Looking for the... Waiting for day. It's about to come up, actually, yeah. Look at the little sky right here. Yeah. Well, guys... Um, I'm not sure where to go from here. I'm guessing, yeah. So once you do this, uh, while you're waiting for night, a good idea to do might be to branch mine. And that would just be to make a stairway. And straight down. Like this, watch. branch mine something like this so as you go down you run into resources like iron and coal and so it's just like a safe version of caving oh no this is a zombie right here should I break it and show you guys yeah this is for educational purposes never actually do this hey zombie come on come on Oh, and when zombies hit you and they're on fire, you will catch fire. See? And you're just going to beat them with your sword. And every time you beat them, you get XP. 
which fills up this little green gauge right here and that will come useful in enchanting oh whoa, no what is this thing whoa what is this Oof. what was that um I'm sorry guys I have no idea what that was that was insane that was that was a mini zombie no I guys I swear I have never seen that in my entire days of playing Minecraft I have never seen a tiny zombie a little baby zombie they do have armor they do sometimes spawn with armor, it's rare, but they do. But I've never seen a baby zombie with armor. I guess that's what was the, the different zombie noise, but still, wow, that was that was weird. By the way guys, uh zombies burn in daylight. The zombies and skeletons burn in daylight. Uh but spiders don't spiders are still out here, but they're neutral towards you. They're like, they're like, I don't really care. You don't hurt me. I don't hurt you kind of situation. Uh, yeah, they're not, they're harmless during the day, but, uh, creepers, creepers, these green guys, not these guys. These are not dangerous. Uh, creepers are, they're just the worst mob in minecraft okay they're very annoying actually no because the zo new zombie ai has been upgraded a lot but no creepers they come near you very silent they hardly make any noise until they make a little sizzling sound and they explode and they destroy the blocks around them and so what that does to you basically is it blows up whatever is around you so your house your whatever building you're making everything it just blows it up yeah they're a really annoying mob and they just suck nobody really likes them yet they're like everybody's favorite mob for some reason I don't know why <laughs> um, but yeah uh, but I'll do a tutorial on mobs later uh, not later today but probably some other day uh, what I'm gonna do right now is bake this up. Bake this. And that was how to survive your first night, guys. It's day. You can go out, get more wood, stuff like that. So, yeah, that's how to survive your first night. Uh, I hope this helps. Guys, please give me a like if this helped. Uh, likes are very useful to my channel. Uh, again, this was my first time filming YouTube. So don't be so hard on me, guys. Uh, if there's anything that I can improve, anything, any tutorials that you guys would want me to do, put it in the comments. Uh, if you want to get Minecraft, I will put a link in the website where you can download it for $30. Uh, I'll put a link there in the description. Uh, I think that's it. This has been a llama's life. A basic tutorial. How to survive your first night. Thanks. Thanks for, thanks guys. Goodbye.